do this job without you. Most of these things are yours. Well, honey, why don't you leave all that junk in the closet? Because that's just it. Most of it's junk, and we need the closet space. Well, then just dump it all. Well, honey, some of this stuff you might want to keep. Honey, you're the keeper. I'm the thrower, remember? Dump it all out. All of it? Yeah, dump it all. Okay, you're the boss. We'll start with this. Hey, wait a minute. You're not throwing away my army coat. <laughs> Sarge, my orders were to dump it all. Well, I don't care. You're not throwing my army coat out. You don't plan to re-enlist, do you? Honey, that's government issue. Put it on, Daddy. I want to see how you look when you are a soldier. Okay, Rich. I may not fit like it did in the Army. Oh, honey, come on now. If we try on everything, we're going to be here all night. Hey, look at that. It still doesn't fit just like it didn't fit when I was in the service. Look <laughs> <laughs> at that. A little petite cat. <laughs> Hey, baby, how about a kiss? Oh. <laughs> hey, you want to give a soldier a kiss, little boy? <laughs> boy, Daddy, you're a funny soldier. Honey, I can't throw this away. There's too many good laughs left in it. All right. You see why I need you here? Oh, yeah. What's in it? Well, what do you think would be in a funny-looking shoebox? Funny-looking old shoes. <laughs> well, then why are you saving them? Let's what? Throw them well, off. They're just Richie's baby shoes. Now, I want to see them. I want to see how little my feet were. Me too. No, Rob, if we examine everything, we're going to be here forever. Now, let me put Now, that. honey, we'll look real fast, won't we, Rich? Yeah, Mommy, we'll look <laughs> at them real fast. <laughs> Rich, would you ever believe your foot was that size? See, Miss Mom, it's a soft. Well, Rich, all baby shoes are soft. Ah, uh, not my friend Freddy. He wore iron shoes. <laughs> iron shoes? No, Rich, Freddy didn't have iron shoes. His daddy had them bronzed to preserve them as a remembrance of Freddy when he was a baby. Why did you bronze mine? Don't you want to remember me? Hey, of course we do. That's why we kept those. Oh. You know something? It's an awful big box for such what a little baby. Shoe. What Get else is in here? Oh, honey. You saved my combat boots. <laughs> Well, look, Rich, Mommy didn't have mine bronzed either. I don't know why I kept them. I do. Why, Daddy? Because your Mommy's sentimental, that's why. Rich, you see those boots? Those are the boots I was wearing when I stepped on your Mommy's foot and broke her toes. <laughs> did Daddy really break your toes, Mommy? Yes, he did. Why did you break your well, I didn't do it on purpose, Rich. It was an accident. See, your mommy used to dance for the USO show. No, Daddy. What do you mean, no? It's not USO, it's USA. Oh, no, Rich. USO means United Service Organization. They used to go around and put on shows for all the soldiers. Your mommy danced in those shows. It's the first time I ever saw your mommy. Did you like mommy when you first saw her? I sure did. I remember the first time I saw her, I was walking in the rec hall one night, and the USO show was just rehearsing.
Hey, Sally, how's it going? Good show tonight? I don't know, Sarge. All they keep doing is them crazy exercises. Mm. Hey, uh, you been entertained tonight? No, no, I'm just gonna introduce the numbers. Ain't you gonna even do your drunk bit? So, this is a USO show. They don't need me. So, I, I love, I love that drunk bit. I can watch you do it every night, Sarge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sarge, hey, Sarge, give me the face. Give me the face. Come on, a little bit. The face. So, come on, the come face, on, the face, the on. face. Come on, a little face. Come on, let me. Here, Sarge, come on, do the face. Come on, do the face. Ah, come here. I do the drunk. <laughs> hey, baby, how about a little kiss? <laughs> oh, who is that girl? Hey, Sarge, no, no, not that girl. Not that girl, Sarge. You're going to waste your time with that girl, Sarge. She's as stuck up as they come, that girl. What makes you think she's so stuck up? Well, because I know her. I know that girl. I talked to her. I went right up to her, polite, like, nice. And I said to her, uh, how do you do, sweetie? Uh, how about you and I taking a hop down to the PX, and I'll spring for a couple of beers, and then uh, if I'm not too drunk, then uh, I'll, uh, I'll heist a weapons carrier, and we'll take a spin around the obstacle course. You know, nice. <laughs> well, Sarge, that girl stuck up, comes back with an answer that you'd never believe. Well, what did she say? She said, no, thank you. <laughs> so, what is so stuck up about that? What's so stuck up? Sarge, she was sent by the USO to entertain the troops, right? Right. Well, ain't I a troop? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a troop. Maybe she had a date or something, so. Well, you know something? She's pretty good. <laughs> hey, sweetie. That is my friend Rob Petrie. He's got eyes for you. How about the three of us going down for a couple of beers later? What do you say? <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. See what I mean? You didn't believe me, right? <laughs> Stuck up? Oh, I gotta meet that girl. Sarge, what for? Sarge, any girl that won't go for a ride in a weapons carrier and doesn't like beer, beer. You're wasting your time, Sarge. You're wasting your time. Drop your sneakers. No, I'm wearing my sneakers. Oh, are you sure these aren't yours? Your name's in them. Marcia Rochelle. Well, my name happens to be Laura Meeker. Oh, hi there. I'm Rob Petrie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, be emceeing the show tonight. How would you like for me to show you around the camp? Well, I'm sorry, but I never go around camp with people who steal other people's sneakers. Well, what's the matter with a sneaker sneak thing? <laughs> To meet you, I would have stolen Marcia. Now, how about tonight, Laura? No, Sergeant, thank you very oh, much. Oh, no, come on. Give me one good reason why you won't go out with me tonight. I'll give you two. First of all, we are not allowed to date servicemen. Servicemen? This is merely a temporary disguise with which to fool the enemy. <laughs> Underneath this uniform beats the heart of a 100% confirmed civilian who attended the University of Illinois, majoring in dramatics and journalism and English and all intellectual stuff like that. It may interest you to know that I don't smoke or drink or bite my nails. 
I don't tell unsavory jokes in mixed company. And uh, about complaining, I'm very easy to live with. I can go for a whole week with a hole in my sock. You won't hear a word out of me. <laughs> now, as far as entertainment's concerned, we'll see nothing but June Allison pictures. <laughs> and when it comes to the guest list for the wedding, you can invite all the people you want to from your side of the family, as long as I reserve the right to have either my father or my mother. <laughs> comes to live with us, you'll be as welcome as the flowers in the spring. Now, what's the second reason? I don't like you. <laughs> At all! And just because I make a rotten first impression, ask anybody! Yeah, he makes a rotten first impression! I think you're all split for him! There's uh, a blonde beer lady, the PX, uh, who told me that she... I'm trying to fix it for you, Sarge. I'm trying to fix it for you. Sarge, 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 I don't know what you're knocking yourself out for. Can't you see she's a cold potato? So, my boy, you add a little mayonnaise, some spices, some celery and egg, and a cold potato becomes a delicious potato salad. Yeah, yeah. I'd sure go for a hot pastrami sandwich now. <laughs> Uh, fell out of your bag. I was just coming after you. Well, aren't you nice? Yes. Well, you don't know how nice he really is because he makes a rotten first impression. <laughs> his name is Rob Petrie, and I'm his best buddy, Saul Pomeroy. Hello. How do you do? My name is... Marsha Rochelle. How did you know? I read your sneaker. Yeah, yeah. Say, what are you fellas doing here? Oh, we're in the army. Yeah, he's a sergeant, and I'm... Uh, Oh, I'm not in yet. Uh, I know that. <laughs> Do you work here, the recreation hall? Oh, yeah, we work here. I pull the curtains. I'm a curtain puller. And also, uh, I'm the stage manager back here. I do I sew. I do everything, yes. And Rob, I'm he's the from... reporter. Oh, you are? Yes, I'm the reporter for the Camp Crowder Gazette. Hey, that's great. Yes. <laughs> I will... I thought of doing an article about your show for the camp newspaper. I thought maybe you could tell me something about some of the other people in the show and yourself. Well, I'd love to. Fine. Saul, would you go get the camp photographer, have him report here, please. What? Uh, yes, I want to take some cheesecake pictures of Miss Rochelle. Oh, I have a camera. I can... Would you get the photographer, please, Saul? The dog? Oh, 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 yeah, cheesecake for the cheese. Oh, yeah, oh, yes, I'm going. <laughs> now, Miss Rochelle, if you'll just sit down over here, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Now, where do all you girls come from? Oh, we're from all different places. Mm -hmm. Phyllis is from Brooklyn, I'm from the Bronx, and Laura's from Brooklyn. <laughs> All spread out there, aren't you? <laughs> How did you all ever get together? Well, you see, I had a theatrical agent in the Strand Theater building. I, and I, I used well, to... Just a moment, Miss Rochelle, I tell you what, let's get the other girls out of the way so I can concentrate on you. You're cute. All <laughs> uh, right, now, this Laura you mentioned, do you happen to know what her hobbies are? Oh, she collects recipes. Recipes, huh? She's always ripping them out of newspapers. Last Sunday, there was a meatloaf in the back of Little Abner. And, you know, I never did find out if Noon B. McSwine trapped him in the pigsty. <laughs> Swine, pig, sty. Now, do you happen to know what her favorite songs are? Songs? Yeah. Say, why don't you ask her yourself? I'd, I'd much rather be talking to you. You're cute. <laughs> well, so much for luck. Let's talk about you now. Uh, in your opinion, what kind of a guy do you think this Laura might go for? <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. You're interested in her. I think you've got some nerve. Miss Michelle, you don't understand. It's for the paper. Hey, where you going, Donald? Hey, don't go away. He makes a, a rotten first impression. Oh. But the girls love him. There's a blonde lady at the PX. Oh. Who said that? Get it? Please no. forget. No. No. 
Now, where am I going to get a cookbook? What are you going to do, bake her a cake? <laughs> well, son, it seems that our little Miss Stuckup likes to collect recipes. You know, I've got the idea that I can use all this information to trap that cute little brown-eyed mouse. But how to set the bait? It's going to be my problem. No, Sergeant, that's not your problem. Your problem is that you suffer from an inflated ego. You think you're irresistible, don't you? Well, you may be irresistible to big blonde beer maids, but I have never met a more resistible person in my life. Well, that's only the first impression! <laughs> if you could only meet people the second time first! <laughs> oh, and she's that pretty when she's angry. Imagine what she looks like when she's smiling. Sarge, 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 do yourself a favor and get that girl. For Sarge, that is the girl I am going to marry. I'm going to marry. Marry! <laughs> hey, yeah, it's a great idea. I'll give her a chance to get to know you better. <laughs> when did you break Mommy's toes? <laughs> well, I'm coming to that. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little while later, after Mom had finished rehearsing her dance routine, I went up to Mama's dancing pool. Yeah, fine. Oh, that's gonna work fine. Yeah, I think so. I gotta go get my hair set. Okay, see you tonight. I'm uh, Rob Petrie. I'll be emceeing a show here tonight. Is there anything you'd like for me to say about your dance number? Well, just say it's a song and dance to be done by Laura Meeker and Mark Mullen, and uh, the name of the tune is uh, You Wonderful You. Oh, great song. Yeah, real good one. Say, Mark, I wonder if you could do me a favor. You know, I work here at the rec hall. The guys see me night after night, and they get so sick of seeing the same thing all the time. I would, you know that routine you do? If I could learn a couple of those steps, I, I wouldn't steal the whole routine or anything. <laughs> so go ahead and steal it. We stole it from Gene Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know the beginning, but I, you know the break you do? I yeah. can't get it. Oh, sure, I can show you that. Come on. It's pretty easy. You see, she comes on first. Yeah. See, then I Well, look. Let me show you the break. Goes like this. And da 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 da. I try that. C. And da 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 da. Oh, that's fine. Hey, Diz, let's go from the top, huh? Hey, you really did steal it, didn't you? <laughs> of an airplane that is lost. An airplane that is lost. shadow all over. On this side, feminine with long golden curls. And it walks something like this. <laughs> Pick 
pocket. Okay, here, a very bad pick on. A pick pocket. Pick pocket. Very bad pick pocket. <laughs> All right, a fighter out on a road doing his road work, doing his road work, and his manager's driving in the car behind him. Well, boss, won't be long now. Come Thursday, I'll be the new world champion. Or is that come Wednesday, I'll be the new world champion? When's the fight, Win? Hey, boss, at the fight! <laughs> Great act. We got a great act. No, oh, wait a minute. I want you to give a real Camp Crowder welcome now to these guys. Larry Spud, his Idaho potatoes playing the French Fry Blues. Let's hear it. <laughs> Oh, great, good, great stars. They love you, them dog faces. They love you. Yeah, now if I can just get that doll face to love me. Oh, she's on in five minutes. I gotta tell her. Let me do a song, please. The world, we've lost the fur. There's no point in this one. <laughs> what? Five minutes, Miss Peter. <laughs> You got her on the brain, don't you? I told you, Sal, that's a girl I want to marry. Marry? <laughs> I think you're really serious. Of course I am. I want to get that girl to say, I do. <laughs> I do. You can't even get her to say hello. <laughs> well, I admit she hasn't noticed me so far. Oh, she's noticed you. She just don't like what she's noticed. <laughs> When I get to her, I've got a plan. Saul, how much money you got? Money? Yeah, money. How much you got? Well, got about 25. Good. Uh, Mark, could I see you just a second, please? Give it to me. What's your plan? You gonna buy it? Something like that. <laughs> so, Mark, could I ask you a personal question? Sure, why not? How much do you get for doing the act? <laughs> Too darn little. 85 bucks a week plus expenses. 85, that'd be about 17 bucks a show, huh? Yeah, what are you getting at? Look, you get $17 to dance with Laura, I'll give you 50 bucks not to. $50? You want me to throw the dance for $50? No, no. I want you to let me dance with her. Mark, I gotta talk to that girl. I know the routine well enough to fake it, what do you say? For $50, you can go on for me every night. Oh, Mark, you don't know what you've just done for me. Uh, Joplin, here I come. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Meeker, you're on. Oh, buddy, you're going to be the best man. Oh, you made me stick myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> surprise for you, a bit of a surprise, I must say. Originally scheduled in this spot on the show was to be Miss Laura Meeker and Mark Mullen doing a soft shoe routine. Unfortunately, Mark just fell down and sprained his ankle. He will not be able to perform this evening. I'm sorry. Mark? Mark? What's the matter? Mark? However, we have prevailed upon one of our own GI uh, staff sergeants to step into this spot for Mark, and I think any guy who has the courage and the unselfishness to jump into a spot like this deserves a big hand. What do you say, fellas? Let's get it. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, now, here they are, Miss Laura Meeker and that wonderful staff sergeant, 
doing a soft shoe to the song, You Wonderful You. That's here. Incidentally, this is the first time that a soft shoe will be done in combat boots. <laughs> but the show must go on. I'll go on, all right, alone. You set one foot on that stage, I'll have you court-martialed. I will remember. <laughs> She didn't like me too well. Boy, when they told her at the hospital that I had broken her toes, looked very much like Mama was never going to like me at all. I wouldn't like you if you broke my toes. <laughs> well, that's what I thought too, but while I was in the Army Hospital, Daddy would visit me every day and bring me flowers and candy and dozens of cookbooks. <laughs> It took me about three weeks to find out what a wonderful person your daddy is. I knew your mommy was wonderful the minute I laid eyes on her. So you see, Rich, if daddy hadn't stepped on mommy's foot, you might never have been born. You should have stepped on both feet, daddy. Why, Rich? Then I would have had a twin brother. <laughs> Well, I guess I don't use any seven woods anymore. <laughs> Let's throw it away. Ow! What was that? It sounds like Ellen. She came over to play with Rich. Ellen, honey, what happened? Richie stepped on my foot on purpose. Richie, did you do that? Now, why did you? Because I love him and I wanted to marry me. <laughs> you love her and you wanted to marry you? I won't marry you because I don't like you. That's because I make a bad first impression. <laughs> <laughs> 